What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I didn't have anything for- no. I didn't have anything, but when I showed up to work, my mom made me have a banana. So, uh, for breakfast, I didn't have anything except for a banana I technically had when I showed up. For lunch, I had two slices of leftover pizza, and for dinner, um, I had a very unhealthy salad. I put lots of chicken and lots of croutons in it. It was good, though. Um, it's really weird how when I, like, I'm looking into my own, when I record, I look into my own eyes on the camera, but really, I should be looking here. That's crazy. Um, I'm drinking some chocolate milk right now. That's really good. And it's 310 calories. That's crazy. Um, yeah, uh, today was my second day of work and the last day of work for this week. Um, today's technically my Friday. Um, I'm not working tomorrow because my parents are going to be um, out of town at a concert. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, work was good. I showed up at work. Um, I asked the, my, my coworker, my boss, I asked my boss, hey, hey, hey boss. <laughs> I'm a crazy person. I was like, hey, what, um, what, what do you want me to do today? And uh, no, no, I walked in. I walked immediately to my set of drawers. And, uh, you know, I just started organizing. He said, you don't have to do that today. Um, the thing you're going to be doing is we have, you know, we have this model that we're working on and see people pretty soon are going to come and look at the model. So, um, I don't know exactly what he called it. He called it like sweep cleaning, where basically you clean everything to the point where the only thing you need to do to clean it is to sweep. So, you take all the big pieces of scrap wood, you take all the gloves off the floor, you do that sort of stuff. Um, and there are actually quite a few gloves on the floor that were glued to the floor with cement. Uh, and it's because you're, work, you're wearing gloves, you're working on cement, you take off the gloves, they just go on the floor, the cement dries. <laughs> cement gloves on the floor are just stuck there, so I had to, use, I had to take that off. Um, and then uh, after that, um, the model has like little, I don't know how you lay concrete traditionally, but the way we're doing it is you have like two sort of holders for the concrete, because it's like a big long thing. So you have two holders for the concrete, and um, they're screwed in on either side, and then you just pour the concrete into the little square, right? And then you just do that along the whole area. Um, so the thing I was doing is, where the concrete was already poured, you would, um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> sorry, um, I'm, I'm reading the lyrics for Fall Out Boy made a We Didn't Start the Fire uh, parody, and I'm, I'm reading comments with Anthony Fantano's Think of it. It's funny. Funny people in Anthony Fantano's comment section. Um, okay, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so the thing I would do is um, I would sort of use the back of a hammer to scratch out the little holder areas. Uh, that I'd find a screw, and then I would use an impact driver. He called it a screw gun. I, I've never heard it called that. I use an impact driver. Um, you go, you know, and you take it out. And then, you know, the concrete is sort of melted to the wood. So um, I think it's called a... Let me look it up to make sure I'm not wrong. Oh, no. My memory tells me that it's called a five-pointed knife. Is it called a five-blade knife? No. No, that's just a bunch of Swiss Army knives. It was like a knife, and it sort of looked like a tomahawk on either side. And then it was like a spike, and then that had another thing, and then like some other stuff. And it's like a, it's like a Swiss Army knife, except it's on one blade, sort of. Um, so you would put one of the sharp sides on it, and then you would hammer one of the other sides with a hammer, you know? And then, once it's in that wood separator piece, you'd hit it from the side, and it would detach the wood from the concrete, and you would grab it. Um, and then, we ate some chips. Uh, we got some chips from the break room, and we ate some chips, um, and that was cool. Uh, he rides an electric unicycle, so he's telling me about that, because I saw him ride in on it this morning. 
Oh, and this morning when I saw him ride in on his electric unicycle, I forgot to mention something. I was um, helping my mom set up her monitor arms for uh, what um, her monitors. Uh, her her monitors are like really really low, and they don't have any uh, height adjustment, so they're just low and pointed up. So she's looking down all the time, and it's horrifying. It's horrifying for um, her her neck. Uh, so she got a monitor arm, but um, she doesn't know how to set it up, so I helped her set it up. And uh, yeah, um, I feel like traditionally a crazy person uh, who isn't thinking very hard um, would set up the stand, like the monitor arm center in the middle, and then you would have the two monitors on the side from you. But the thing that sucks about that is that you're constantly looking either left and right at either monitor. The meta is to have a main monitor and then a side monitor, like a monitor to the side. But you're looking straight forward at your main stuff and then side, you know? Um, so I, I, I did that and it was pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so um, we ate some chips and we talked about his electric unicycle. And, um, you know, after that, I basically just um, sorted, like, the um the drawers some more so i did that for like a, the rest of the day kind of for like a few hours uh, no for an hour and then i had my lunch break um and then god a lot of people insisted on talking to me during my lunch break i'm pretty new so you know near noon it's everybody's lunch break so every like a lot of people are in the kitchen uh so um you know, I walk in, you know, I'm, tr I'm just trying to reheat my pizza in the microwave, you know, and people are talking to me, and then, like, oh, what, what school did you go, like, are you still in school? And, like, no, I graduated. And like, oh, what school did you graduate from? Oh, oh, what college are you going to? I don't mind. It's, it's fine, you know. I, I, you know, if I was in their situation, I'd do the exact same thing. I totally don't mind. I just, um, it's, I, uh, if I don't know someone's conversation tree, it's very difficult to talk to them. Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, and then after my lunch break, I just ate my lunch in my mom's cubicle. Um, and then after my lunch break, I uh, went back to the lab and, uh, you know, I organized the drawers for like a few more times. Uh, by the end of my day yesterday, there was one drawer organized, like fully organized, labeled and everything. Uh, now there are like four, yeah, there are four drawers fully organized. But I, I altogether, I've interacted with like 13 or 14 drawers. Um, so I, everything's like pseudo organized, I have this table everything's like kind of kind of done not really um just like but like fully organized there are like four drawers and it's a big drawer set it'll take like a week or two um oh i also coiled up some cables while i was um cleaning up the model uh and then uh my my boss wanted to bring in um this big bag of rocks like crap um and so he tried to lift it up with the uh, with the forklift and the bag totally ripped, right? It was like a really bad bag. Like I could rip it with my hands, you know? Um, and so I was like, well, what are we gonna do? And he said, well, tomorrow we're gonna have buckets and shovels and we're gonna shovel the buckets. Uh, we're gonna shovel the gravel into the buckets and bring it in. I said, well, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. He's like, oh. And then he sort of didn't say anything for 10 seconds because I feel like this whole day he's been running under the assumption that I'm gonna be here tomorrow. And I'm not going to. Even though I t even though I told him yesterday, I only told him once. Very forget. Um, and I was like, I can totally just shovel the gravel now. So there was like really big bag of gravel. Like I couldn't pick up the bag of gravel. It was, it was like it was like this like this large around. It was like this large around. I think. Uh, it was like it was like an oval sort of. Um, I had to shovel it into like seven different like. You know those big orange Home Depot buckets or, or blue Lowe's buckets? Um, I had to shovel into like seven of those. I kept lifting things with my back like a crazy person. Luckily, I'm young enough to where I don't have back issues, but uh, you know, pretty soon I might because I'm lifting everything with my back. Um, I need to stop doing that. It's insane. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I just, you know, I have no, body trouble, so I don't I don't think about what my body's doing, I just do whatever's most comfortable, and what's most comfortable is to live with my back, but it, you know, 
that's crazy, you know? Um, it's also most comfortable to drive without like a seatbelt, you know? But <laughs> you know, you're a crazy person if you don't do that. So, uh, I got, you know, I gotta lift with my legs more. I notice every time I lift with my back. So I'm, I think I'm gonna stop doing it pretty soon. It's just so, I'm typically not lifting heavy things, so it's fine. It's just so instinctual. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I lifted, I put rocks into buckets and then that was the end of my day. So I went over to my mom and I put in my, my time sheet and uh, yeah, we're done. And we were done. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Yes, yeah, so I got home, had a very, oh, I got home. My move ring was like two thirds closed. So I just ran on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. Um, and now I'm having this to negate my, my treadmill time, I suppose. These are so unhealthy. It's crazy. This has 48% of your daily sugar content. It has 46 grams of sugar. That's so depressing. For the record, I try to never eat food like this. Sometimes I have to though, because my parents buy it and I don't want it to go bad. We'll see. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, all right, see you, dude.